Now, the second play in our chilling series, All the Dark Corners, is Paul Cornell's Something in the Water. Holiday cottages and weekend homes. Did you see that boarded up shop? Turn left at T Junction. What T Junction? Wait, wait. There you go. Look out for the joggers. Lots of them for a weekday. Nothing led me into a ditch once. It's got 16 geostationary satellites looking down on us. It knows where we're going better than we do. And it hates me. Hey, come on, James. You can get down from there. Jump, jump, jump. Jump! But I'll fall into the water! The monster! What? On everything! Look, they're on the signs! Lucky the lake monster. It's a big deal around here. Yeah, well, you can tell them, can't you, Ben, hey? No such thing as monsters. I won't. <laughs> hey, well, what's what's whoa, 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 careful, careful. That's scientific equipment. Hey, I knew I recognised you. You're that science bloke off the telly. <laughs> Not so keen on our foreign friends. Hey, more power to you, that's what I said. Yeah, that's <laughs> not what I said. Hey, no need to defend yourself, mate. We're on your side. No, you're right. not. What he was trying to say is, oh, be careful with his telescope, and here's some tea, oh, and, no. and, and, oops, Cheers, and what a lovely lake side on which to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> you love your mask. Work out where to jump. Chicken, chicken, chicken. All right, all right. There you are. Oh, God, you scared me. Oh, sorry, I was miles away. Well, that's good to hear. Physical labour, getting you out of yourself, away from the rise. Huh. Actually, uh, I was just remembering a mob of children persecuting me. <laughs> My unconscious gets right to the point, doesn't it? Always the mob. Well, now we're here, all that awfulness will fade away. There's nothing to worry about, just boxes to open, oh, a boiler to be seen to, and walls to be plastered. How's it going? Oh, annoying. Look at this. Dry rot. Is that dry rot? Yeah. That looks really strange. Fibres? Well, I'm covering it all up and hoping the plaster will hold the walls together. Oh, oh look, here we are. Uh. <laughs> I've got a surprise for you. <laughs> I had these framed before we left London. Ah, that's one of your more... Um... Lurid covers. Uh. Not so much a, a ripped bodice as one that was never properly fastened. <laughs> now, when the vicar pops round, which do you think will freak him out the most? Well, I think my God the case against might just beat your forbidden liaison. <laughs> Where should we put them? In our studies. Where visitors won't see them. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. No, you're right. I'm being ridiculous. I can't just hide. You can. For a while. Why not? You be careful, Ben. We're looking for the monster. You're a monster. Enough. Come on, Molly. <laughs> I think he actually expects to see Lackey. Well, what with all the T-shirts and signs and tourist guides in the village, I'd be surprised if he didn't. They're programming people to see every floating log as a monster. It is beautiful here, though, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Come on. We'll have to teach Ben to swim, monster or no monster. I don't know how he hasn't managed it, but now there's a lake on our doorstep. I'll do that. No, it'd be good to spend more time with him. That's all I've got to do now. Yeah, and that'll be great. It'll be good for you. Well, you work on your book. And you should appreciate it while you can, because, you know, this isn't going to be for very long. Another newspaper will snap you up. Oh, I had an offer. <laughs> Email on the way up. There you go. Yeah, from a newspaper I would never read. You know, angry of Tunbridge Wells. Oh, I'd suit them down to the ground now. I kept trying to make Patrick see. I kept saying a column about scientific atheism has to eventually confront Islam. But no, 
But apparently there's only a certain sort of atheist that the liberal readers of his paper want. James, I've heard this so many times. Oh, the readers sacked me because opinion, their opinion, is all that matters now. Oh, sorry. You're free now. Thanks to your sales figures. You, they like You should try reading one. You might like me too. I suppose we both seek inspiration here. Breathing something in. This would be our local. Not that we have an enormous choice. Come on, it's cheerful. Look how healthy they are. Not a fatty amongst them. That's country living for you. Oh, look out. That one over there. Oh, Don't look. Oh, they're coming over. They've recognised me. Well, it's vaguely possible they might have recognised me. And we're going to have to meet the locals. Excuse me, excuse me, but uh, are you James Woolmer, the science chap from the telly? Oh, yes. <laughs> Hello. Hey, I told you, I told you, we, we thought you might pop in. Our new local celebrity. I, I'm Peter, the landlord of this place, and, and these are some of the rest of the Chamber of Commerce. It's their night on the ale. <laughs> this is uh, Helen, our GP. And this, this is Eric. PC Ruskin, when I've got my job at Hill. Where did new arrivals get about? Are you a real ale man, Mr Woolmer? Why, why, man, really? Oh, well, never mind. You have to try Lucky's Lake water with the monster on the pump. The water's from the lake, it's still our reservoir. You want a glass of tap water, you ask for Lucky's pee. <laughs> oh, wait a sec, where, where, where are my manners? Jackie, two pints of Lucky's for our new celebrities. Well, thank you. What a lovely welcome. The village of Stand Lake seems to be all about this monster. It's our very own tourist trap, our folk myth. Our cryptozoological mystery. Crypto. <laughs> a creature unknown to science. Supposedly. Everyone's saying your husband's come up here to investigate it. I said, I said, of course not. He's a very serious man. Thanks, Jackie, thanks. There we go. Get that down, you. Oh, thank you. Now, come and see this. You'll be interested in this, Mr Woolmer. This is our board of clippings and photos. A lot of reliable witnesses have seen Lackey over the years. Sightings go back to medieval times, and they're extremely consistent. A creature... Living in the lake with a long neck and a small head. That one's a Labrador fetching a stick. I can see what you're saying, if it was close up. But the picture was taken from a hundred yards. Look, there's his nose. Old Mr Scott, who took it before he died, he signed a sworn statement. Well, he was lying. Jim. The leading theory is that she's a plesiosaur, a marine dinosaur surviving... For 200 million years? Yeah. So we'd really be talking about a breeding colony, correct? How many fish would one of these need? It would, it would be like having a school of killer whales in the lake. You could be seeing them every day. Oh, people do. Ah, bloke will last only your place so lucky six times last summer. Ah, there's something to look forward to. <laughs> Does it matter if it's true? That's what he said. After they realised I wasn't going to make a TV programme or, or write a book about their so-called monster. That's, that's what's wrong with the world these days. And when it became clear they weren't going to induct me into their shared delusion, all they could talk about was reality TV and soap operas. I nearly said, you do know those aren't true either. But it's easy to get a babysitter, it's lively, and they're all built like hammer throwers. So let's not start a fight, eh? Mm. What do you reckon the response time for an ambulance is? <laughs> Are you going to come in with me? No! What? Why not? I'm teaching you to swim. I'm not going swimming myself. Now stop splashing about. Your armbands will hold you up. I'm too old for armbands. Well, that makes no sense, seeing as you need them. Now take a couple of steps in. There you are. Now lower yourself down to your chin. That's it. Excuse me, Mr. Walmart! No one's yet! I'm sticking my head under! Hello, Mr. Ruskin. Oh, PC Ruskin. As you can see, I'm watching the monster. That's why I stopped. I was a little worried to see him in there. Well, I'm not going to take my eyes off him. When I was very young, I nearly drowned. So he is going to learn to swim like a fish. You can see loads down there. Town baths in Creighton will be best for that. Oh, I thought you didn't believe it. The lake is dangerous. 
We encourage tourists to only go onto it inside the special areas. The scrap down there, tangles of weeds. All the big lakes lose a few every year. Yeah, of course, but I mean... Did... I lost my wife here. Oh. I'm sorry. Ten years back. Alice was an excellent swimmer. She got out of her depth. Nobody else around. It happens. Doesn't that make the monster stories hard to stomach? If you know there's genuine... It's what people like to believe. You can't argue with them. Vox Populi, Vox Dei. The voice of the people is the voice of God. Yes, it's the voice of a fool. Ben! Oh, he needs our help. He can't get out on his own. Here, put the pond weed on his head. There we go. Look at him. What's his daddy gonna say? <laughs> got you. You thought the monster got me. Look. Ah! What's that? Ben, What's ben, that? Ben, get away from it. Come on, what come on, it? give me a hand. Come on. That's it, come. Come on. Come on, that's it. No, 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 no. Shh. It's all right, it's all right. Come on. Come on, that's it. That's it. Well, look at that. It's a dead pig. Must have been on the bottom. You dislodged it when you rushed in. What the hell's a pig doing in the lake? Livestock wanders in from time to time. I told you. Dangerous. It ain't Mr. Bovis, the woodwork teacher. They found him with his eyes eaten out. I bet they tell every new kid that story. They're trying to scare you. It, it doesn't scare me. What are you looking at? Nothing. Ah, that pig's head. Your dad managed to really frighten you the other day, didn't he? He didn't. The, the dead pig was cool. I, I think the monster killed it. Well, if you're not afraid of dead pigs, we could do with some sausages. Come on. Usual for the Chamber of Commerce, is it, PC Ruskin? Couple more pounds of sausages, please, Frank. We didn't have enough last time. <laughs> uh, my lad so lucky twice last week. She's coming out for the summer. Yeah, I catch a glimpse of her every now and then. PC Ruskin? Oh, Hello, Mrs. Woolmer. Ben? Hello. I thought you didn't believe in Lucky. Oh, well, horses for courses, you know. Must get on. It's all right, Bonnie, as long as you stay out of the water. Ben? When do you want another swimming lesson? I've cleared an area. There's nothing to worry about. No more dead pigs. No. You can't answer that with no. Stop scratching your midge bites. Getting them too. I haven't even seen a midge. Don't go too far out of sight. Come on, Bonnie. Good girl. Come on, Bonnie. Come on. What have you got? Dad? Dad? It was a fox. A dead fox there in the water. Where? It's gone now. Didn't have any eyes. Like Mr. Bovis. Are you making up stories? You've set him off again. He's searching for Lackey on the internet. Cross-referenced with death, eyes, Mr. Bovis. And how's that down to me? I think he made that one up. Anything rather than learn to swim. As long as he uses your computer, I need to work. Have you got an idea? No. Just a blank screen. God, my hands are itchy. Bloody midge bites. Oh, and now the pipes sound like they're about to explode. There you go. Love this place. Loads of work. So, what did it turn out to be? Oh, you know, it basically sorted itself. Magic. <laughs> Magic? Question at your peril. You'll get pipe noises here by late, you see. I'll need to do something about your immersion tank, too. In the fullness of time, probably. Oh, let me know when, if, you start to hear anything from up there. Ben, there you are. What are you looking so seriously at? Duh. The lake. <laughs> do you want to have another go at swimming? No, you don't get it. It ain't Mr. Bovis. Okay, okay. Look, I'm sorry, all right? I know I've been pushing too much. So, so when I was your age... Oh, let's not get into all that. So, what do you want to do? 
see the monster again. I keep telling you, I watch the lake, I see it. I've seen it four times. Please stop making things up. It's true. Everyone at school's seen it. Oh, have they? James, it's a good school. You should see the sports teams. I mean, this place has conquered obesity. But there's not one teacher there who'll tell them they can't have seen a monster. There are sceptics here, like that policeman. I uh, wasn't that sceptical in the butchers yesterday. Oh. Lucky this and lucky that. What? He struck me as an honourable man. People see how worked up you get. It changes how they treat you. Well, it shouldn't. Something's either true or it isn't. Never mind whether I'm there. If more people just told the truth... The then world would be a much ruder place. Oh, please don't tell me you're going to go down to the school and pick a fight with the great mass of people. Oh, you mean like I did with my column? <sighs> Look, you're, you're still upset. When you've had time to calm down, you'll see this place has a lot going for yeah. it. Five plumbers, a tourist information office that's entirely about the supposed monster... A library with no popular science section, but catering to the masses, a row of books about monsters and UFOs. Oh, am I in that library? Yeah, I believe so. Because when you said the masses, I know what you always mean oh. by that. The sort of people who buy my books. No, what I meant James, was... in London, all we met were people who wanted to debate Africa. Yes, people who thought, who didn't believe in impossible things. Oh, the immersion tank. As the oracle predicted, I suppose I'm expected to once more summon a plumber to work his magic. Now, let's find out what's really going on, shall we? Oh, James, it is too late to start that now! Did you have to take it apart? I found something. It was nailed just here, it must have fallen off. You can see the th threads rotted away. What is it? <laughs> it's a cross. Silver crucifix. <clears throat> Will you please stop examining that cross and come to bed? Looks like it was there for decades. Deliberately fastened. <laughs> Lucky charm. Well, you finding it hasn't fixed the pipes. Well, it wouldn't, would it? But that was why... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Supply looks like it really does come straight from the lake. I mean, is that even legal? God, we're living in the dark ages. James, your chest. Hmm? Oh, yes, the rash. Oh, I've been itching for days. I've got it too. And Ben. You want me to swim, but you won't get in yourself. I can swim. I made myself learn. Fear can be overcome by rationality. But you won't get in. You'll catch a chill like that. Come on, get him off. You can carry your wet clothes home, can't you? Your daddy will love that. You don't remember your granddad, do you? What's that got to do with anything? He was the local vicar. Kind. Deluded. I got a lot of stick for being a goody-goody. I suffered a lot on his behalf. I mean, he'd never listened to me. He just said we had to put up with it. <laughs> we. But I have to listen to you when you didn't. He should have taught me to swim. Okay, he should have prepared me better for the world. That's what I'm trying to do with you. Whatever my own failings, I hate it when you talk about the monster. But it's true. It's what I see. There is no monster in the lake. There can't be. People just like to pretend. But there's still lots to be amazed about. How the lake was formed, the billions of years of geology that got water into that valley, and, and isn't it wonderful that 200 million years ago there were animals like Naki? No matter what people believe, everything comes down to rationality. Nothing's bigger than us. Everything can be fixed. Monster. 
I've seen Lackey! Told you! I told you! So, so now it's real? Erica, you were right to have brought us here. Don't you see? I'm sitting on top of the science story of the century. I'm saved! Told you, told you, didn't we? It was exactly as you said. A small head on top of a long neck. I saw it silhouetted against the sun. Yeah, it could have been a log or perhaps one of the larger ah, birds. Ah, you're a sceptic again, PC Ruskin. I don't understand you at all. I couldn't see any detail, but I know what I saw. And now you're going to investigate properly, right? I want to get an independent documentary film company up here. Yeah, that's what we're after. It loads of room at the inn. There have been expeditions into the lake before. And, and I... they've never found anything, Eric. It doesn't matter if they don't. What matters is that the programme goes on telly and the tourists roll in. And if we get the intellectual interest I'm after for a serious documentary, you could go upmarket. We'd get a, a better class of people in here and... and... Oh, well, present company accepted, of course. I'm waiting on emails from Nicola and Alec, and from Jeff, really crucial. That's nice, dear, but I'm trying to work. <sighs> Silly of me, I expected replies right away. A documentary featuring actual, original research in the field. The truth! We'll be hunted down. Oh, and you are making me itchy too. Uh, we've got to get something done about that rash. I'm back in London before you know it. What? Hmm? I mean, I can commute. I'll need to. James, is this a good idea? What? I believe there's a monster in the lake. But that means there's a monster in the lake. It's an animal. It's an endangered species. It's like we need another one. There are no monsters. No, there are. Have you thought, maybe, you should leave it alone? The guys at school say a silver cross keeps the monster away. That's why I'm wearing it under my shirt. What? Look, I'm on the phone, Ben. Oh, yes. Hello. Oh, well, could you call me back? Yes, well, uh, no, tell her I've got several experiments already set up, all very visual. I've got a row of small fish hanging under the house here, near the waterline, at what plesiosaurs ate. The smell will drift into the lake, and hopefully we'll get some film of the animal itself. I'm going in to find the monster. So when do you think she'll be able to get back to me? Dad? There's something... Dad! What are you doing? Ben, you're fine. Come on, just walk out. I'm going around me. <laughs> what is? All right, I'll, I'll get back to you. I'm wearing a cross! Get away! Ben! Look, I'm very angry with you, okay? I was having an important business conversation. You were just looking for attention. Why are you wearing that? I told you! The cross saved me from the monster! It isn't a monster! It's an animal, okay? Now give it here. Let's go straight in the bin. You upset him again. He's being silly. He knows that annoys me. I'm driving him into pretending to be an idiot. Our son is not an idiot. I didn't say he was. You spent so little time with him. You don't even know how to talk to him or who he is. You're not making him be anything. Oh, you just have to learn about each other. Plummer said there'd be trouble with that tank. It's been like that since you took the crucifix no, out. No, it hasn't. I mean, that's not what caused it. Probably best if I get that. Oh, PC Ruskin. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. Only you've got those fish hanging outside. Is that a crime? They could attract rats. Or a plesiosaur. Please, sir. Why does your attitude about that change, depending on who you're talking to? Isn't that just everyday politeness, sir? One plays along. If it's Mike in the butchers or some old lady at my church... Then you'll sir. all pretend together. I really expected more of you. In your case, sir, I'm learning not to. What's more important, making people feel better or telling the truth? I hope you never have to decide that, sir. Excuse me. Mum? Mum? What is it? It's the middle of the night. Something's banging against the wall. Oh, it's, it's only the pipes. It is only the pipes, but yes, that's scary. And there's something in the tap. It's blocked. It's, it's sort of... like just another Mitch bite on top of your finger. I nearly fainted. It hurt so much. I pulled this out of my finger. It's what was in the tap. Well, I suppose it could be a piece of fiberglass. Well, that would hurt if you pricked yourself with it. Must have got into the plumbing. 
It stung me. James, don't look at me like that. I am going to take this to the doctors and that'll show you that this is something real. And meanwhile, you can get the bloody tank fixed. There we go. I'll have it sent away for tests. And this is a prescription for antihistamines. All three of you are experiencing allergic reactions. It happens a lot with newcomers. The midges. But there's a lot of evidence that suggests there's a social dimension to allergies. What I'm saying is, how are you fitting in? Pretty horribly. I try, but... Maybe if you went to a few Chamber of Commerce functions so we could get to know you better, perhaps even join. Is that dog? Nicola, good to hear from you. Jane, she hasn't come in for a how are you doing up there? I just wanted to say whether or not I agreed with your column, I support your freedom. Water under the bridge. What did you make of my documentary idea? Oh, you were always so funny. People never got that. It's a joke, isn't it? Some sort of postmodern no, media no, 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 thing? No, 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 I saw this animal. My son has seen it half a dozen times. Everyone in the village sees it all the time. It's real, Nicola. It's real, and nobody knows. And you have got to make this, do you hear me? You've got to make this. This is the biggest thing in the history of, of, of anything. And nobody's... Hello? Nick? James, I don't think this is very kind of you. I know you might want a laugh at someone's expense right now. What? Talk soon, okay? No, 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 Nick. Nick, no. <sighs> she knows you as a very serious... Shut up. I'll just go and look for our dog, shall I? Hi, Matt Liston from Hot Tomato Pictures. We want your shout. You do? Absolutely. Here's a pitch. We milk the bad publicity. Funky title, James Warmer, Muslims and Monsters. <sighs> Bonnie! Bonnie! No sign of her. How are you doing? <sighs> All right. Making some adjustments to this sonar device. <sighs> I thought I'd get to go home. Get back to where I was. In my absence, the mob have defined me. They know who I am. <laughs> they don't like me. We don't need them. We have a life here now. We're in the Stand Lake Chamber of Commerce. No, 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 no. No, it'll be fine in the end. Scientific method will save me. But I'll have to pay attention to solid evidence. <clears throat> I'm going to put this in the lake. At this time of night? I need to work, Erica. I need to do something. I have to save myself. What are you doing out here? Did Bonnie come back? What? No, she'll, she'll come back when she's hungry. Go back to bed. I can't sleep. What are you doing? Well, the sonar will indicate something moving in the lake. Gentle pings like this. It's just weeds being washed back and forth, but anything more solid. There. Bank, can you see anything? No, but I don't want it to come. It's coming towards the house. Still nothing visible. Stop it! Me doing this, Ben. This is something. <gasps> you went past me. It's in the house. It can be the house. The sound, I mean. It's in the pipes. James, what are you doing? Ben, get to bed. But it's in the house. It can be in the house. It's not just the sound. Can't you hear it? Here, under the sink. You'll hear it. You've been under a lot of stress. What? 
America. It's perfectly rational. I thought it was a plesiosaur. Yes. No. So why is it in the plumbing? It can be. I think the pipes are amplifying some sort of sonar effect from it. Maybe it's how this creature hunts. Oh, well, that's much more sensible. You're taking the house apart. You are not going to get a contract for this. Oh, well, I've got my name on a new species. I am going to bed. What about Bonnie? Oh, right. Yes, well, I'll just go out and have another look for our dog, shall I? Oh, Erica. What's this? Oh. Oh, ben, could, could you get under there? I can't quite reach you. Put your hand right in. I can hear it. It's very close. Yes, yes. Now, reach in as far as you can. Now, can you fit your fingers right into the pipe? Uh, uh, I've it. got something. Oh. Oh. It's another cross. I found it. So it's mine, okay? I'm keeping it. All right, all right. Hey, don't look so scared. There's nothing to worry about. There's still no sign of the dog. I mean, the trail of biscuits I left vanished. It must be the birds. I'm going to Manchester to talk to a sonar expert. Ben was still upset this morning. He keeps saying it's in the house. And the kitchen looking like this isn't going to make him feel better. I'll be back quite late. You know that crucifix was brand new. That plumber must have put it there. What does it all mean? I'll be here when you get back. Probably. Bonnie? It was just an empty skin. And the dog's eyes had gone. Like everything soft had been sucked out of it. I got Ben away as quickly as possible, but he's traumatised. And thank you for coming out. But now you're here, I, I'm not sure what you can do. No, you were right to have called me. What could do that? It's not one of James's plesiosaurs. Well, obviously an animal didn't do this. I don't want to alarm you, Erica, but James's enemies. The accusation of anti-Islamic insults. And this could be a warning. Now, you could pack a case, stay in a hotel in Creighton tonight, and when Mr Woolmer returns, you could both get back to London where they can deal with this sort of thing. You're serious? I, 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 I'll... Talk it over with James when he gets back. I'd advise you to go now. I am not running away. We'll make a rational decision. In that case, I'm sorry, Mrs. Woolman. For everything. When you get this message, James, please call me back. I don't think Ben's going to get to sleep. I can't see how it can be a warning, but James, I'm, I'm really quite scared now. There was something about how Ruskin said that. I'll wait up. I love you. That again. Oh, my God! Uh, uh, no, no, Ben, don't come in. The ball's full. No, they're just some sort of plant fibres. Don't go near them. I know, they stink. Ah! Everywhere. Good evening, sir. What are you doing here? It's uh, bad news 
I'm afraid so. <laughs> You're saying my wife and son have just vanished? How have things been on the marital front, sir? What? Any recent rows? I this is, this is insane. We found this on the dock, sir. Is it hers? It's her wedding ring. Well, she wouldn't just leave it there. You can't take this as evidence. We, you have to start a search. Where are the rest of you? Where are the forensics people? Everything's in hand, sir. We're doing all we can for you. Now, if you wanted to go back to London... You have to troll the lake. On what evidence do you base that assertion, sir? I just... No! Damn it. If you won't, I will, sir. The sonar equipment. It can help us find underneath the surface. But don't just stand there. Help me. Sir. I mean, look. Hmm? Right there. The surface of the lake. It's covered in those, those fibers. There. Can't you see them? Erica. Now don't go in there, sir. <laughs> Oh, 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 it's got her. Help me. Get out of there. Come on, Eric. What Who could have done that to her? Not a plesiosaur, did... This is something more dangerous. Oh, Eric. The soft tissues. Her eyes. Her eyes. It's terrible what the water can do. Sir. In that time, it can't be true. What about Ben? You have to troll the lake just by the house. You have to find my no, son. Please calm down. We have to get you away from here. What are you talking about? It's not just my son. You're all in danger. I've still got them all over my clothes. What you call lackey is something like a, a, a fungus. That's all, almost the same size as the lake. That round head and long neck, that was a fungal fruiting body. Now, you don't know... Those who drink the water from the lake break down their food in a more efficient way. You owe your health to this contaminated water supply. Oh my God. It's... It's a literal opiate of the masses. It's a symbiotic relationship, mutually beneficial. Please, I am trying to tell you. Just that. The stinking cells cause a rush in people who haven't grown up with the water. The crucifix, it's not the shape. Huh? It's the silver. Yes, yes, the silver. It interferes with its biochemistry. Ben had one. He might still be out there. No. no we have to get you away. Now, come on. I'll drive I'm you. I'm not going anywhere. Not without my son. The lake will have to be drained, all the traces of the fungus removed, for safety's sake, for science, to find my boy. Ah, there he is. Peter. I couldn't find you, Eric. No need to bring him down here, was there? I don't think James is going to be leaving us. He's certainly not. No, I'd very much like him. You be careful. You don't exceed your authority, Eric. James, <laughs> you come with me. Knowing all about your boy, we got the Chamber of Commerce together. We know what we have to do. We have to get out there now. You, you get another whiskey down here. It's, it's a terrible relationship. The cartoon version of Lackey you've created attracts people. The fungus finds its prey. Is he still going on about that? It's the truth! No, mate. You said it yourself, Lackey's a dinosaur. I can show you. Doesn't matter what you show me. How could you live like that? Huh? How can you just... You know, for someone so smart, mate, you're really stupid. Stop baiting him, there's no need. No? Okay. More whiskey, James. It's good for the shop. Oh. Right. We must get out there and find my son. Or not find my son, not in the lake, not in the lake. He might be just lost, you know, run away. He has to be told about the lake. You have to warn people to get away from the lake. Why don't you understand? This is vital! Why are you all looking at me like that? James. You're right about Lackey. <laughs> Happy now. You knew. You all knew. 
All the Chamber of Commerce, yes. <gasps> All the plumbers knew something you didn't. We feed it meat from the butchers. We keep it away from the livestock and the tourists and the locals as much as we can. The death rate is the same as any big lake. That's how well we're doing. But it has to be removed from the lake. Erica! Ben! <laughs> Ben's alive. He's in shock, but he's fine. What? Where is he? He's somewhere safe. And he'll stay safe. You have my word. No, 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 no. You stay put. Ruskin, you're part of this. But your wife! Alice knew the risks. She got careless one night. Put hand in the lake. She was in there before I could get to her. It's not the fault of the plant. It was just following its instinct. I had to make a rational decision to put aside revenge. To do what was best for the village. You let others die like her, huh? You betray her memory. I told this lot you were trouble, but they said the village needed the publicity. That without more tourists, the place was dying. That we could keep Lackey hidden, like always. We hoped you'd share the secret. <laughs> but it's become clear what sort of person you are. You can't imagine anything bigger than you are, James. You're afraid of being grabbed by something you don't understand because deep down, you're appalled it's even possible. As soon as you saw it, you had to define it. To take it apart. To name it after yourself. How dare you! How dare you! In the face of the sacrifice I've made, I kept trying to send you away. I want you to remember that. Right to the end. To the point of sacrificing my own safety. You kept feeding it, bringing it towards you, dirtying it. You were the same with the monster as you are with people. You keep seeing how far you can go. Testing. To see if the world will ever love you. I'll bet you secretly hope for some love beyond it. I do not. That's not attention seeking you're describing. It's science. You can make the sacrifice Eric made. Join the Chamber of Commerce. Help us keep the secret. Become a proper part of this community with your son. So it's comfort or the truth. People or truth. It has to be the truth. You don't know what truth is. Find my son, and I'm going to tell the world. Oh! 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 Uh, why? Because I put a sedative in your drink. What? Ben! Ben! Uh! I'm sorry it couldn't be a general anaesthetic, but we've discovered in one or two cases similar to this over the years that Lackey doesn't like the taste. Oh, are you going home now then? You reckon your daddy will be pleased with you? I hope he will. I, I think he will. I know he will. Because I was brave. Throw the meat into the water. Track it over here. No! No! Get off me! Get, get off me! Get off me! I won't join you! I won't be who you want me to be! Ben will be told he got you too. I'm going to adopt him, James. I'll give him all the love you wanted to give him. No! Ben! Ben! Find out the truth, Ben! Find out the truth! No! No! Ready? No! Please One, no! Two. In Something in the Water, James was played by James Nickerson, Erica by Zara Turner, and Ben by Joel Davis. Ruskin was played by Conrad Nelson, Peter by Jonathan Keeble, Batley by Stephen Hoyle, and Helen by Ruth Alexander Rubin. Something in the Water was written by Paul Cornell and directed by Nadia Molinari. It was part of our series of chilling horror stories, All the Dark Corners.